What up guys, I'm bringing guys today a UU battle against Radzinski of Abra's Asylum. I'm him, I found him on Abra's Asylum. He won a UU match and I accepted, so let's get into this battle. I lead off my Needle King, he leads off with his Primate, and automatically I think yeah, that it is Scarf, because most leads that are Primate are Scarf leads or whatever. So I just set up my Rocks and Ice Punch doesn't kill, and I know that he's locked into Ice Punch because I'm 100% sure he's Scarf. So he Ice Punches my Milotic, and I predict the switch. And I went for a Toxic, but he switches into a Venusaur, and Venusaur, Venusaur basically walls Milotic. So, and the Toxic doesn't affect him. So he, I go back into my Needle King, protecting the Sleep Powder, and he does go for it. So, uh, I switch back into my, we I switch into my Weezing now. Knowing either the energy ball or sludge bomb is coming in, both of those will do jack shit. He gets a crit here, and that crit doesn't really matter, I guess. So he's getting black sludge and stuff. And I know, I kind of figure like he might have a fire type on his team to absorb like fire moves. So I, instead of going for the will o wisp on that turn or flamethrower, I went for the T bolt. And he does send into send into a uh, send in a Milo tick. And if I would have Willow was that, that would have been bad because it would only I would want to get a toxic on it instead of a Willow was and Marvel scale activated and all that. So I switch into my Needle King to see what he was going to do. He goes with the Surf. So when I see the leftovers and stuff, I automatically think it's probably some sort of wall. So I send in my own Venusaur and I predicted him to go back into Primate to predict me to Sleep Powder, but I don't. So I just go for the Leaf Storm. And I killed the primate, and that was a good prediction on my part. I pat myself on the back for that. So that primate is dead, and which is really good because that thing can always cause pro um, problems. He sends in a Chris Angel, and which is Alakazam, and I predicted the trick here because I thought he would predict me to go back to Milotic, but he goes for the Calm Mind, and I think the Calm Mind Alakazam with Life Orb is probably the most dangerous Alakazam out there. But anyway, he goes for the um the uh. Psychic and I live with 9 HP which is good because it allows me to get a Draco Meteor off. I know it won't kill because he got a Calm Mind up and he lives with probably like 2 HP or something and he goes for the Signal Beam and but Life Orb damage will take him out which is good so it's a double down and I send out my he sends out his Arcanine I send out my Weezing wasn't sure what type of Arcanine this was so I switched out into my Milotic and I he predicted that that I would switch out into my Milotic and he goes back into Venusaur. So now I have to let my Milotic I have to let my Milotic stay in as sleep fodder. So I just surf just to get to just to make him put me to sleep because I already know he's gonna put me to sleep. He won't go for the attacking move. So he goes he goes for the sleep powder and it hits. How come when I when I sleep powder it never hits, but whatever. And I go back into my Venusaur and he goes back into his Arcanine and Stealth Rock damage really racked up on that Arcanine and I still did not want to stay in because I still wasn't comfortable with so I need to see what kind of Arcanine it was. He goes for the Flare Blitz and it does nothing really and I see the Recoil then I see the Life Orb so I think it's the Life Orb Extreme Speed Thunder Fang one. So I predict the Thunder Fang here. I wasn't, I have a Duck Trio, I have a Duck Trio but I did not want for him to over predict or something and go for the flare blitz so I, I just want him to thunder fang me to be safe and I live with uh, 49 HP and after the black sludge I live with 69 HP so I guess that makes me cool now <laughs> but anyway he goes into a milotic and I don't I don't want to die just yet so I go into my um my own milotic to absorb the surf and Venusaur to, Venusaur right now is probably the most prominent figure that I have right now because it can it can take out that Milotic and it can wall it can wall that other Venusaur since it's, it looks like a, another like a special defense wall so my wall my Venusaur can wall that so I need to keep Venusaur alive right now he goes for either the hidden power electric and goes for or grass and that the, um, despite being super effective that doesn't do jack so um, my, that just proves that Milotic is just so bulky and is a beast. And right now he goes into his Venusaur, I guess predicting my wake up here. And I just go for recover, recover all my damage off. So now I have to stay, I have to stay back in to um, be sleep fodder again. And that's really uh, beginning to annoy me. 
So he goes to the sleep powder again, and it hits. I'm tired of it hitting. Every time I use sleep powder, I get a miss. Or, and that thing only has 75% accuracy. So I go into my Venusaur. He switches out after that and goes into his last poke that I haven't seen in Steel X. Now here, I'm either predicting an EQ or an explosion. So either of those would be fine. If he EQ'd, that would have been fine. Because I would have got a pain split off. But he just explodes. So, I mean, I, Weezing did his job just to die or whatever. So now that Steelix is gone and I didn't even have to touch it. So now I know that my Xenosaur can take out his last two pokes. So I'm just going to sludge bomb, continue sludge bombing this um, Venusaur. And he's energy balling. I guess he doesn't have the sludge bomb or whatever. So he's energy balling right now. And that's doing nothing because four times resistant. And I'm going to sludge bomb that. It's going to be a three hit KO. Because I think this is a um, max HP max special defense Venusaur and that's gonna be a 3 hit K on that Venusaur which is nice and I'm gonna take out that Venusaur and his last poke is a Milotic I'm gonna switch out into my own Milotic cause I wasn't sure if this Milotic had Ice Beam I'm not, I wasn't sure but he goes for a recover and right now I just want my Milotic to wake up so I can get a Toxic off and switch into my own Venusaur but after he sees that it's inevitable and that he cannot kill my Venusaur, he is going to flee. So good game, um, Radzinski, and he's an awesome battler, you guys. So rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and peace out.